Hello, I'm Helen Milner. I'm the Chief Exec of Good Things Foundation and I thought I would say hello in person this week um, as we move into this sort of strange transition period where uh, many of us are still in lockdown at Good Things. We're still definitely very much working from home and I'm sure all of you are as well. Um, but, you know, some shops and hairdressers and things are opening so it feels like there's this really gradual sense that we're getting a bit... Um, back to normal. I know lots of you uh, are working hard still uh, supporting people remotely but also out and about delivering food parcels and other things so a huge huge thank you from me for all of the work that you're doing. Um, I wanted to thank everyone as well who's been involved with devices.now. Uh, we've managed to uh, deliver two online centres over 2,370 devices with uh, data um, already to date. Um, we still have demand outstripping supply so really sorry if you're on the waiting list and some of you have been on the waiting list for a really long time so I do know, know that and we're working really hard to try and raise funds to buy more devices soon and, and hopefully we will have some good news for you soon. Um, Interestingly, because lots of the stories I've been hearing have been about older people who have been isolated and lonely and how they've got online, sometimes for the first time, using a device. But actually, it's only around 25-30% um, of the people that we've been supporting through Devices.now are over the age of 65. So it shows that um, that real poverty at uh, working, uh, the working adult population is, is real and we need to get devices and support out to them as much as we can. Uh, we've got a crowdfunder raising, I'm not asking for you to um, contribute, I'm asking for you to promote it on the social media channels that, that you're on. Um, we're almost at £5,000, um, so you can find that on social media, hashtag devices.now, so dot dot, devices.now. Um, on social media or there'll also be a link to the crowdfunder in the newsletter. Um, something that the team have uh, just recently contacted you about already and it'll be in the newsletter as well this week is about the text alert system so it'd be really great if you could opt in to that that means when we've got something um, important we need to tell you, for example, if Lemon Way is down or if um, the team are all having a team away day and therefore can't be reached on the phones, um, then we can text you and let you know. So it'd be great if you have uh, you do opt in. Of course, Good Things Foundation, we're a charity. We definitely won't ever give your number to anybody else. So don't worry about that. You definitely won't then get... Um, any uh, third party people contacting you through us. So it'll just be for Good Things Foundation and things we need to tell you. Um, and the last thing I just wanted to remind you about was the live map. So we have the map of online centres um, across the UK uh, and we've now twisted that to all of the centres that we know are doing something at the moment. So if you're providing remote support, if you're happy for people to contact you by email or by phone, then please do make sure that the team know that you're up and running and that we can get you onto that live map. So thanks so much from me and from everyone at Good Things Foundation for everything that you're doing. Um, absolutely terrific job. Thank you so, so much. And if some of you are now actually have been having some time off and now are thinking about what to do next, I know some of the libraries in particular are thinking about how to begin to reopen your doors and reopen access to your computers. So good luck with that. Um, and please do keep in touch. And if there's anything we can do to help, please do let us know. Thanks so much. Bye for now.